Uh, did you stay up and watch BYU in Virginia? Uh, I watched most of it, yeah. So this was a fascinating football game. Virginia's defense is hot garbage. Hot garbage. <laughs> they, they, uh, they let BYU do whatever they wanted to in this game. BYU had 734 yards of total offense in this game. By the way, BYU won this 66-49, to and this was a game until Brennan Armstrong went out. Did you see when Armstrong walked off the field? And I had the game uh, on mute, right? Yeah. But I could see what he was saying. And he said, it's broken. He's pointing at his rib, and he said, it's broken. It's bro-. And he didn't yeah. come back in for the rest of the game. And the game was effectively over at that point. They were already down That's by right. 10 at that point. But as soon as he went out, that was it. It was done. Yeah, well, Virginia, Virginia can't score. This is the BYU team that we saw the first four weeks of the season, five weeks of the season, before they just had a complete and utter collapse yeah. and, and just stroked out for about three or four weeks. But this is what they look like before the season started. You know, at some point in time, I had a feeling they were going to get back to this way of playing football because I don't think you forget that. I just think you you stop doing what it but you you stop putting in the work because you don't think you have to, and and then you get smashed by a couple of teams, and then you know it takes a couple of weeks to get your legs back under you, and it, yeah, without Armstrong, this Virginia team is not going to be good yeah. at all. There you like, go. I, I do think that that guy's special. I think that guy's good, and if he's not in Bronco, this offense is going to struggle. Yes, very much so. I, the, the it's not they're not as bad as what Penn State looked like when Clifford went out. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, but but, Jesus, no. They're not Penn State bad offensively. God. But but it's still uh, a big change at the quarterback position because he, he the backup cannot do the things. Uh, Woolfork is his name. He can't do the things that, that Armstrong does. Armstrong. Uh, Larry no. said Armstrong went out when. I didn't catch when he was out. Uh, went out this with about 12 quarter. minutes left, I guess. They were down yeah. 59 to 49 already, and Virginia was driving. He ran three yards to get a first down on third and two, maybe, something like that. But he he immediately pointed at the rib, and the very next play he threw an interception and walked over. He didn't even try to do anything on the interception. He just as soon as he oh, threw yeah. the ball, he walked towards the sideline and started pointing and said that his rib was broken and didn't come back in for the rest of the game. He was he was pretty good uh, beforehand. He was twenty two out of thirty four, three hundred thirty seven yards passing, four touchdowns, one or sorry two two interceptions. That last interception, obviously the last pass of the game. Wolfort came in. Was two out of five for thirty-five yards passing. And eh. Brendan Armstrong also ran eleven times for ninety-four yards. He was the leading rusher for the Who's in this ball game. Tyler Algier, running back for BYU, twenty-nine carries, two hundred sixty-six yards, five touchdowns. Jaron Hall, the quarterback, had six carries for forty-two yards and a touchdown. Jaron Hall also twenty-two out of thirty-seven, three hundred forty-nine yards and three touchdowns passing. A ridiculous game for BYU again. 734 yards of total offense to only 588 for Virginia. And I say only 588 uh, just because it, they they outgained them by 150 yards. And it's tough to do that against a team that gains 588 yards. <laughs> like, offensively, this was just a ridiculous ball game. Ridiculous. Uh, but BYU got it rolling again. So Kalani Sataki doing what he does. This was a, a fascinating watch to end the evening. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.